Hey, what's going on guys? John here and it looks like we finally got our first hands-on view of version 11.3, the single stack version. And thanks to a person on Twitter with the Twitter handle Winner Shalone or officially Tesla Bull, they posted a vehicle with version 11.3 running officially on it. Now keep in mind this build is only available to employees at the moment. So I'm not sure if she or he is an employee or they somehow got this pushed to their vehicle in the limited beta release phase. Now one thing we know for sure is there is quite a bit of changes with this update versus what we are currently having on our vehicles but let's go through some of the release notes that we see so far of 11.3 all right so first and foremost we do have an expansion of the employee beta program it went from 50 employees running this firmware now it's gonna be 500 employees running this software so it's gonna be 10x that from previous iterations of 11.3 and then the final one that's gonna be the full wide release to North American users is gonna be 11.3.2 and if everything goes well and smoothly with these employees running it on their vehicles we're going to be seeing this roughly about a week or two from this point so of course as you guys know 11.3 is going to be a really big update for all of us running fsd beta codes in our cars right now now things have been performing pretty well here and there but it looks like we're going two step forward and one step back but it seems like 11.3 is gonna change all that. What we're getting with 11.3 is single stack code base, so meaning that you're not gonna be switching from city code to highway codes any longer. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with FSD beta codes, the differences between highway and city driving, the city driving essentially can do and maneuver through obstacles and it can make way for certain drivable space. Whereas on the highway version of the code, which is pretty much running autopilot at this point, it just follows the lane. And of course, it can make minor maneuvers between different lanes and vehicles behind and in front of it but it can't do anything you're seeing on the FSD beta codes where it's avoiding different obstacles like maybe rocks and humans and dogs and it won't be able to visualize everything on the display as it would on the city codes. Now, just previously in a release, we did get the occupancy network included in the FSD beta codes, meaning that it's gonna be able to avoid things like rocks and things that's unable to determine what the object physically is. And what Elon says is at this point, it can actually even avoid a UFO if it landed on the highway, just because it knows that it's not gonna be an object or it's not gonna be a drivable space, that it's gonna have to avoid it to get around it. Now, from what I can see with the FSD beta code, in the city is that it's going to make a major difference on the highway and hopefully this gets brought over to those basic autopilot users i know you guys really want some kind of update at this point because the mass majority of people around the world right now are running the basic autopilot codes which really in all honesty have not been updated for years now at this point because they're focusing so much on fsd beta they're neglecting everyone else that does not have it only the us and canada has the codes at the moment where everybody else just sits on the side watching on youtube now the release notes this time around is just gonna be like every other time It's pretty technical It's pretty long. So I'm just gonna highlight the main parts here And I think the most important part really is that it's gonna go to a single stack and the next part of it I really think is crucial is that it's gonna take care of highway and rain reflection So what this means is that all those nights that you guys have been driving on the highway and I guess some parts in the city as well but being on the highway is very dark and maybe you have some light reflections here and there from other headlights. This is where human even gets confused at which lane to be in. There's a lot of times where I personally did not know which lane I'm in until I finally realized and I'm just in the middle of both lanes. But yeah, this update here is gonna bring better rain reflection overall and for debris and other objects on the streets. So yeah, this is gonna be a major, major improvement for those of you guys that are struggling with a lot of issues while driving on autopilot. Another one here that I think is pretty important in the release notes is it's going to predict a better for red light runners, meaning that a lot of times where the car is going to pretty much shoot because of the green light it's gonna wait and predict if there's gonna be a red light runner before it decides to go I think this is a major improvement on the safety side and you just don't want the car to go even on green in any situation if there's some kind of danger in the way all right and just skimming through the list here I think there's just one final thing I want to mention and that is gonna be the new report button so you guys probably click this video because of the thumbnail and the thumbnail shows that it has a new report or a record feature in the system so anytime you guys disengage at this point you can send in a message to Tesla using your voice by pressing down on the record button. Now, instead of the old way where you have to click the camera report button right at the right top corner of the screen there, which is kind of dangerous when the car is in motion, you can now just hold on to the scrolling wheel and record exactly what you're having the issue with. And anytime that the car disengages from FSD beta, it's going to prompt you and ask you 
what is the issue and if you're willing to record uh, a voice message for them. So I think this is a much better way of doing things and I think this is gonna help improve FSD beta so much more. All right, so now let's go to Tesla Bowl on Twitter. This person posted it in the last 24 hours of all the amazing things that FSD beta 11.1 can do. And if you guys wanna check it out, go onto their Twitter page because I'm not gonna be posting on here due to copyright issues. But just going through all the things they posted, they didn't miss a single thing. They went through every viewing angle possible from parking to driving on the highway to driving in the city. It's amazing, so definitely check them out. But this is gonna be where they transition from the city to the highway and from the highway to the city. And it just performs so smooth overall. It doesn't seem as jittery as before. And you can just tell from watching the videos that the tentacle arms or what they used to call the tentacle arms, now the path planner, it's just very solid overall. It doesn't make these jittery mistakes like it used to when you are standing in one spot. Now there is a couple UI changes here and the first one you guys are gonna notice is that the path planner is the size of the car now. It's no longer that narrow little line in the middle. I think this looks a lot better and it gives us a lot more confidence again because the path planner isn't moving around a lot. And the fact that Cruz and Waymo is using this UI in their fleet of vehicles, it makes us feel a lot more confident in Tesla as well. And now another part of the UI change here is that there are no longer those colorful red lines to just show you the drivable space, you're gonna be seeing that all of them are going to be gray except for the yellow lines. The yellow lines are gonna be the dividers between the opposite sides of the road, uh, but the sidewalks and uh, bike paths and everything, it's just gonna be the exact same color and it looks more real to life to be honest. You're not gonna see red lines in real life, so you're probably not gonna to wanna to see it in the visualization. And I think it's gonna be overall less distracting too because having the lines just glare at you in the middle of the night is not that good for your eyes, whereas the gray just blends into the background and you don't really have to think about it too much you just know that it's working now one thing that I also noticed with the UI difference here is that the lane lines are no longer defined it's very fuzzy in a way I'm not sure if it's using Tesla vision to actual life here but it might be a generic animation from what I'm seeing again it's not gonna be depicting exactly how many lanes are on the road but more just adding a layer on there just so you understand exactly what's happening now I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this because originally I thought it was depicting whatever was on the ground using Tesla vision but I paused the video multiple times and counted the lane lines on the ground versus what's on the screen. And it seems like the screen it definitely has a more animation feel to it, not really depicting exactly what's there and just giving more a generic number. So if that's the case, might as well just use something a little bit more defined, a little bit more clear. So like I said, maybe this is not for me. I really hope they bring back the old animation and the real lines. But maybe this is just a temporary thing until the official build gets pushed out. Now as for the last thing here, just last night I was pretty disappointed because I thought that they wouldn't have park assist enabled just like previous FSD beta builds I don't know why it was disabled to begin with but it has been re-enabled now unfortunately from the test that we're seeing from Tesla Bull it doesn't seem like this is a newer version or what we call actual smart summon or actual smart parking from the video it looks like it takes forever again for it to do a simple parking maneuver and we didn't see anything with actual smart summon so I'm guessing that it's still using the old parking codes I originally thought that FSD 11.3 is going to bring the single stack to every aspect of FSD beta but it doesn't seem like it's doing that so you guys shouldn't be expecting too much with a smart summon and the parking assist even though it is back now but yeah this is pretty much just a summary of what we have so far of course as more things come up I'm gonna be updating you guys on that so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to this channel so as soon as I post something you guys will get the notification right away but this is pretty much FSD 11.3 if you guys are excited for it you're excited for it and if you're not because you don't have FSD beta or you live somewhere around the world that doesn't have FSD beta at all I'm guessing this is not going to be one of those exciting updates for you either way. But one thing here that should keep you guys excited is that in my previous video, I talked about how FSD 11.3.2 is going to be the North America wide release. And after that, Elon said that he's going to be moving FSD beta into Europe. And then eventually 90% of the codes is going to be ready for worldwide release. So that's definitely going to be exciting. And I we're fingers crossed right now that you were going to see it in Europe anytime now. And hopefully we get to see it in other countries as well. But yeah, guys, this should be it for this update. Update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, again, you guys know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.